Valve is one of the biggest profitable organizations out there. Valve makes about 54 million a month for cases, CSGO cases, and about 10 billion of the revenue was from the Steam store. Now, what do you invest in as a beginner investor in this huge market? Please stick around to hear what I have to say, and I have the right solution for you. Well, if you are new and thinking of making a fast amount of money, you could be in danger. Change the way you think, because normally you have the short term, medium term, and long term. But if you are patient and enjoy seeing good gains and don't panic sell, you will net yourself some crazy profits. Number one, cases. Firstly, the safest investments are cases, considered long term. Yes, this is true. Cases are the safest investments for everyone. Active drops, it all depends on which case. Cases that are still dropping are not exactly safe investments, but could be in the long term, once they are taken out of active drop pool. So prices end up going up to the moon. Rare drop cases are more ideal to, to be invested into. They would be fixed to a set supply and often leading to price skyrocketing and you would be smiling all the way back to China. Some red drop cases are not exactly safe, like the older early drops. Some cases do not sell as fast because some are too expensive to open up. Weapon cases and Bravo cases as an example. Cases end up lowering in supply and rising in price over time. Cons, there could be restrictions to opening up cases or trade bans, but this is highly doubtful. Weapon skins are a medium term investment. Weapon skins are a good investment, especially weapon trade up skins. There are different weapon classes, consumer grade, mill spec grade, industrial grade, and restricted and classified. And the, the very last would be covert. But not everyone can afford expensive weapons and rare operation trade-up skins like classifieds and restricted trade-up contracts. But if you can, then it's the way to go. But if you do not have much money, a less expensive path would be the consumer grade and industrial grade. Then you yield profits almost before every operation released. Trade-up skins end up going up in price. The catch is normally you have to wait some time before profit. That's the trick to the investment. Number three, capsules. Major capsules have almost every time shown us profits and yielded high gains for us. The time to invest normally is the 75% of sale is the best time to invest. Some invest just after the sale has concurred. I prefer the 75% of sale. Operations can cause prices to dip where people sell off their remaining older investments for the newer operation items. Even cases, capsules and stickers dip in price. I always say don't sell but hold because this stirs up a panic sell and you lose all your money because it's guaranteed that the prices will go back up and you'll be making money. Almost every major has concluded you immediately profit except RMR due to the supply, but eventually supply gets eaten up. And there's profits. Before we continue, I just want to say, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like and support me in this journey forward and I will keep you up to date with what I am doing with my investments and surely we can see what's going to happen in the future. Alright, number four, stickers, right? Stickers should be a short, medium, or long-term investment. It depends. Stickers have been known to give profits, but some have not given profits due to people's interests. Normally, certain hypes make stickers go up in value, but teams that are popular and look nice are in demand and is where the money is going to be at. Right? Like demand on sticker applications, that's really important. Try not to invest into stickers that are not that popular and what people are not looking for. But some teams are more of a risk but will yield you surprisingly great profits. Stickers slowly over time become more valuable and rare due to the capsule lowering in supply or the stickers being scraped off weapons. Now, you need to know this. You need to apply your own decision in this and don't always run and follow what someone else is doing. Examine the market, use CS2 on Twitter for updates on the game with nerfing of weapons. 
Operations on the horizon or caps of sale ending. Or specific updates would we bring investments up in value. Okay. Now, the final answer, my general thoughts on what to invest into. Cases would be the number one investment. Because of the safeness of long-term gains and supply keep decreasing and where players or investors open cases, skins are always needed in the game, like knives, gloves, and weapons. This is a get-go investment. Major capsules are the second best investment because you will see a profit short term, medium term or long term. Almost every major there is a profit to be made. Some capsules offer very good ROI in return. How would we see that? CSROI.com would give you the correct indication. Stickers are one of, of my top investments to be made. Golds, hollows, glitters and papers are all good. No one will know exactly which team will go up in value except popular team stickers, unique eye-popping ones that are unique. Guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.